Good morning, children. Everybody awake and ready to work on schoolwork again? We get to start a new book this morning, a brand new book, so everybody try to keep their books neat and do a really good job in them. Are you all awake? How about before we start this morning, I feel kind of sleepy yet too. April, are you awake back there? Karina, Lexi? Everybody look up here. We're going to do a couple exercises before we start. Let's raise your hands all the way above your head like this. Hands up in the air, children. Let's stretch first. Are you ready? Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Now, does that feel better? Let's get out your workbooks. The book that does not have a smiley face on it. Brand new book. And let's open to this page here. Everybody see that page? Okay, and we're not going to have a new letter today. We're supposed to review what we've already learned. We're going to review today. So, you know what that means, children. Get the old flashcards out. We're going to go through these and say them together. We're going to go a little faster today. And then we're going to practice our vowel sounds, okay? Are we awake? We're going to have to do a couple more exercises. Okay. Ready? All together. Everybody say these with me, okay? P. N. O. G. T. F, A, M, S, H, D, I, J, R, U, P. Back to the beginning. Okay. Everybody keep working on your letters. Have your moms help you, your dads, your older brother and sister. Make sure you know all these letters. The one that we had last was the U. Remember the U? The U says A. Uh. Make sure you know all the letters and you know what sound they make. We would go over the sounds, but it's kind of hard for me to say the sounds on video. I don't know how they sound when you just listen to them. So have your parents help you with the sounds. But here is something. Let me find out what I think we can do, and that's practice our vowel sounds. Remember vowels? What are your vowels, children? Let's say them together. A, E, I, O, and U. A, E, I, O, and U are your vowels. And we've had all the vowels now except the E. So we're going to practice them. Here's your page for practicing vowels. It's the T says T and the A says A. The I says I, the O says A, and the U says A. So it's ta, t, ta, and ta. And then it's S says S, so it's sa, si, sa, and sa. Ma, mi, ma, and ma. Ra, ri, ra, and ra. Okay, you ready? Everybody's going to help me this time, all right? Let's start with the T. Everybody? Ta, ti, ta, ta. Again. Ta, ti, ta, ta. Faster. Ta, ti, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ta, ta. Got it? Let's go to the S. Sa, si, sa, sa. Again. Sa, si, sa, sa. Faster. Sa, si, sa, sa. Sa, si, sa, sa. The M. Ma, mi, ma, ma. Ma, mi, ma, ma. Ma, mi, ma, ma. Is that easy? That's all your vowel sounds. Let's do it. Let's do your vowel sounds with the R yet. Ra, ri, ra, ra. Again. Ra, ri, ra, ra. 
faster. Rap, riff, rock, rock. Rap, riff, rock, rock. If you want, you can write these down. Here's your vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, and the lowercase, A, E, I, O, and U, and you can practice those every day, too. That's your vowel sounds. So you need to know really good, you need to know these vowel sounds really good. A, E, I, O, and U, and what sound they make. A says A, I says I, O says A, and U says A. Okay? So that is our review part. Now let's turn to this page here. Everybody ready? Name on the top line, just like you always do. And we don't have a new letter, so we're doing review. You can review, you write two N's, you make one on your own, two G's, make one on your own. And then on the bottom line, I'm gonna give you sounds again. And we're going to write the letter that makes the sound I give you. <clears throat> so get your name wrote, get your N's and your G's all made. And then we'll do the sounds. While you're writing, <clears throat> we're, I'm going to review here. The teacher's book says we're supposed to review the rhymes for each letter. So while you're writing, <clears throat> I'm going to do your, I'm going to say your rhymes for each letter. Remember, it was D, D, D. Debbie Duck can say quack, but can't say cluck. S, 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 S. Sun so bright shines all day to give us light. M, 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 M. Monkeys munch bananas and peanuts for their lunch. A, 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 A. Apples red keeps me healthy, it is said. F, 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 F. Fish are funny. They eat worms, but don't eat honey. T, 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 T. Turtle Tim takes his house on top of him. G, 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 G. Goat is quick. You can chase him with a stick. O, 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 O. Octopus, he has too many arms for us. In, 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 in. Nell's new nest, it's so nice to take a rest. P, 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 P. Porky Pig with his nose, he likes to dig. H, 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 H. House for her, here he lives close to the curb. I, 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 iguanas drop into the river with the plop. J, 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 Janie's jug, pour the milk into her mug. R, 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 Ronnie's rat runs and hides in Robert's hat. I don't think we ever had that rhyme. I don't think I told you that one. You, 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 umbrella brown keeps us dry when rain comes down. I'm not sure we've been doing those last ones, but that was the rhyme for the R and the U and the J. Okay, everybody ready for their sounds? You have to listen really close when we do sounds. I'll do my best to make them clear so you can understand what sound I'm saying. And I'll try to give you a word. <clears throat> okay, the first one is easy. Don't need a word with it. The sound, are you ready? The bottom line, I'm gonna give you a sound. You write the letter that makes this sound. The first one is A. Ah. Don't get no more help, that's all you get, just A. Ah. Everybody should know what letter that is. The next sound, are you ready? You ready, Jakira? You ready, April? The next sound is d, like Debbie Duck. D. Write the letter that makes that sound. The next one, everybody ready? 
like funny. Ready? The next one? Mmm. Everybody got that part done? Whenever you're done, you can start looking down at the bottom. We have two words we get to read today. And you can start sounding those out. See if you can figure them out. Closer here. <clears throat> S A D. What do you get when you put them all together, these three sounds? Sad. 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 See the little girl is crying. She's sad. Did most of you have that figured out? Let's try this one over here. The F says A says A N says N Fan Fan Can you figure that one out? It makes it pretty easy when you got a picture or not. I'm not sure how fair that is. Fan. The next one is fan. And you have a picture of one right there. And the first one was sad. Okay, you can go ahead and turn to the next page. We have H, J, P, the lowercase and the uppercase on this side. And we've done these pages before. They're pretty easy if you know what the picture is. The first picture is jacks. Remember that game we talked about? Those are jacks. So you're listening for the beginning sound of jacks. <clears throat> Whenever you know what it is, draw a line from the jacks to the uppercase and from the jacks to the lowercase. If you don't know one, do like we do, like I've taught you before. If you don't know, let's just go to the next one and do the next one and then see what you have left and see if it makes sense then. So let's listen to the beginning sound one more time here. J, jacks, j. Which one of those, H, J, or P? Whenever you know, draw your line. If you don't know, we'll just let you go on to the next one. The next one is hat. Hat. Listen to that beginning sound. Remember which letter says, if you put your hand in front of your mouth, you can feel that little puff of air. Which one of those letters says, whenever you know, draw a line to it. And the last one is pretty easy. Pig. Pig. Draw a line to the letter that says makes the p sound. Mm -hmm. 
When you have that top part done, we'll go to the bottom part. You can start looking at those letters. You have an R, U, N in the lowercase, and over here is an R, U, and an N on this side, but it's uppercase. And your first picture is a nurse. Listen to the beginning sound. Nurse. N. Which one of those letters makes the N sound? Whatever you know, draw a line to it. Everybody caught up? <clears throat> the next picture here in the middle is a raccoon. Raccoon. Listen to the beginning sound. R raccoon. Which one of those letters makes the r sound? As in raccoon. Whenever you know, draw a line to the uppercase form and the lowercase form. And the last one should be kind of easy because that's the last letter we had. <clears throat> last time when we had videos, it's an umbrella. It's the uh, uh sound and it's a vowel. Umbrella. Whenever you know, draw your line. When you get all of your lines drawn, you get to turn over to the next page. And we're going to do something new over here. Everybody ready for this page? Instead of listening for the beginning sounds, we're going to listen for the ending sound. Let's do a few practice ones here. <clears throat> um, let me find where I'm at here really quick. ones first. The word hat. So instead of listening to the beginning sound, the beginning sound is let's listen to the ending sound. The ending sound is hat. Hear that ending sound? Listen again. Hat. Hear the ending sound of hat? Let's do another one. How about chair? Don't listen to the beginning sound, but listen to the ending sound. Chair. Hear that R at the end? R. Okay. You want to do one more, and then we'll start on our page. How about tent? That one's kind of tricky because it has the same beginning sound and ending sound. Listen again. Tent. Hear that sound? T. -t. Tent. Okay. Let's go ahead and work on the page. We'll do all of these together since it's something new for you, okay? So don't get excited. We're going to do them all together. The first one is the toy. Remember, we don't have too many of these in our homes today, but it's a top. Let's listen closely to the ending sound. Top. P. Hear that ending sound? P. Top. You guys can say it yourself if you want. That might help you. It makes the P sound. Which letter makes the P sound? Whenever you know, write it here on the line. It's a P. It's that letter right there, a P. T-O-P. 
And then if you want, we're going to go through and sound each one out. On top, the T says T, A, P. P goes on the line, top. That's not too hard, is it? Okay, the next one is dad. This is kind of like tent. It has the same sound at the beginning and the end. Listen carefully, children. Dad, d, dad. Hear how it begins and ends with the same sound? Dad, d, a, d. So a D goes on this line, same as the first letter, dad. And when you get your D wrote, then you can kind of look at the letters and sound it out. D says D, A says A, and D says D, dad. Not too hard. Let's see if you can do this next one on your own, and then if you can't, I'll help you with it. The picture is gas. Now listen to that ending sound. It should be an easy one for you. Gas. Hear that s sound at the end? Which one of the letters makes the s sound? Whenever you know, write it on the line. Gas. Did everybody get that one by their self? It should have been an S. An S on that line. G-A-S spells gas. The G says G. A says A. And S says S. Gas. Ready to go down here to this next one is a tag. Tag. What do you think? T A what? Which one of the letters that we learn makes the g g sound? Everybody got it figured out? It's the G. T-A-G spells tag. T says t, A says a, and G says g, tag. It's okay if ends are a little bit slow on these. It's the first time we talked about ending sounds, and we'll have a few more pages on it later on. If you're not very good at it yet, it's okay. Here's a pig, but pig's not the word. The word is fat. F A what? Let's listen to that ending sound. Are you ready? Fat. Fat. Which one of the letters that we learn makes the t sound? The T. The T says t. F-A-T says fat. The next one, man. Listen to the ending sound. Man. N. Remember which letter makes the n sound? The N. N says n as in nest and it's the ending sound of man here's a little boy and the little boy's name is sam let's listen to the ending sound of sam sam Which one of the letters says m mm, makes the m mm sound? Sam. Mm. D 
Did you all put an M in there? An M, like the monkey. Remember the monkey letter? S-A-M spells Sam. The next one is kind of easy. We've had this word before. P-O, the, the picture is pot. Let's listen to the ending sound. Pot. T. Hear that ending sound? If you need to, say it by yourself. Pot. Which one of the letters make the t sound? Whenever you know, write it on the line. Pot. And the last, oh, it was a T. T goes here under pot. P-O-T. P says P. O says ah. And T says T. Pot. Pot. The next one is fan. Listen to the ending sound of fan. And that one you might be able to cheat on because we just had that word this morning back here. So if you don't know, you can look back here at the last picture we had. But listen to the ending sound. Fan. Hear that n. Mm. N. Mm. Like nest. It's the n. N makes the n sound. F says f. A says a. And n says n. Mm. Fan. Okay. That page took a while. Is everybody finished with that? We'll work on that more again later. That's ending sounds. And that's something else you can practice on if you have free time this week. Everybody turn to this page. Janice wants to cross the creek, but she doesn't want to get wet. Help her step on the rocks by reading the sounds, but don't fall in. And then we have to draw Janice in the box when she gets across the creek safely. So let's help her step across the creek by reading the sounds on these rocks. Everybody put your finger on the P. It's the rock right below Janice. Are you ready? I'm going to turn this away so you can't see my book. Everybody look at your own book and put your finger on the P. It's the rock right below Janice. And see if you can follow me around this little creek here. P, N, we're jumping up, O, J, R, all the way over to the G, F, H, U, T, I, M. Could you follow me? Let's start back over and try it again. Put your finger on the P. It's the, the stone right underneath of Janice. We're starting right here. Are you ready? I'm going to go a little faster this time. See if you can follow me. We're jumping from the P rock to the N to O, J, R, G, F, H, U, T, I, M. Did you do it? One more time, fast as we can go. Are you ready? P, N, O, J, R, G, F, H, U, T, I, M. Did everybody follow me that time? That was pretty fast. Okay, so when the video is over, you get to draw in this block here, you get to draw a picture of Janice. It says, draw a Janice in the box when she gets across the creek safely. And I love to see you all's drawings, so if you want, you can have your mom send me a picture of that. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I love to see what Yens draw. It makes my day. Um, when you're all done with that page, you can turn right here. 
And we're gonna talk, we're going back to beginning sounds now, okay? We jump from ending to beginning, but we're going back to the beginning sound. So this is gonna be easier for you. So we'll kind of just hop right through this. Like bunnies hop, hop, we're gonna hop, hop right through this page because we've done lots of beginning sounds. So y'all ought to be good at this. And I'm not gonna help you with all of them. Maybe the first three, maybe. Are you ready? The first picture is a rabbit. And they want you to write the letter that makes that beginning sound. Rrr. Which one of the letters makes the rrr sound? Rrr. Whenever you know, write it on the line. Rabbit. It's the R. R says R. Put an R on the line below the rabbit. I'm not sure, should we go down or should we try to go across? I think we can go down this time. So let's go down to the goat. G goat. Which letter makes the g, g sound as in goat? Everybody got it? It's the G. Put a G under the goat. And the next one down is a hippo. Listen to that beginning sound. Hippo. It's the letter that you can put your hand in front of your mouth and you hear the little puff of air, or you feel the little puff of air. Hippo. Which letter is it? Write it right here below the hippo. Hippopotamus. H. It's an H. Now the rest of these you're gonna have to figure out on your own. I'm not gonna tell you the answers. <clears throat> And we're gonna go pretty fast. This one is a pig. Write the letter that makes the p sound, as in pig. And then down to this one is an otter. That's an easy one. Which letter says ah, as in otter? And then back up to this little guy. And I'd say most of yens don't know what that little animal is. It's a jerboa, which I had to look it up. I don't even hardly know what it is. It's a rodent that lives in the desert and he has long hind legs. And his hind legs make so that he can walk upright and take long jumps. But it's a jerboa. So listen to the beginning sound, j. Jerboa. Write that letter that makes the j sound. The next one should be easy for you. We've had this animal many a time. Iguana. Write the letter that makes the i sound, as in iguana. And the last one is t tiger. Write the letter that makes the t sound, as in tiger. Oh, goody, we get more addition. I like these. Everybody turn to this page when you're all done with the last one. We're going to talk about addition again. You ready? These should be getting pretty easy for you. One baby doll on this side, so put a one here and one on this side. So you put a one on both sides and it's one plus one equals what? No answers today, children. You gotta do it on your own. And you should be pretty fast at this now. The next one, you got three bibs on this side, so you put a three in this box. You have one bib on this side, so you put a one in this box. 
3 plus 1 equals what? And just keep going. Do your ice cream cones, your ladybugs, and your rubber ducks. And then you have the sequence at the bottom. I'm going to give you just a couple minutes to do that page. Those should be getting really easy for you. If not, have your parents help you understand that. It's just addition. If you struggle doing that page, have somebody help you with it. We're going to go on. If you're not done, you can come back to that later after the video. This next page is counting, and remember children, let me get my little pointer here. Remember children, when you count, we're getting up into some pretty big numbers. So start at the top, start on this side, it's on your left. Everybody hold your left hand up, left hand. Start at the top and on the left, and if you need to, mark them out as you count. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you circle the eleven. That's not hard, but always remember to start at the top and start on the left and go in rows. And if you need to, mark them out. And then I'm going to let you do this page on your own after the video. The next page looks like this. We're going to go kind of fast here. I'm running out of time. Just count and write the number on the line below. That's pretty easy. Do the same if you can. Try to go in rows, starting at the top and on the left. The last page, pretty easy. We've done a lot of these, right? The number that comes before 8, the number that comes before 6, and the number that comes before 10. And on this side, it's 9, 11, and 12. Those should be coming pretty easy for you. Let's go down to this bottom part here on the leaves. Um, it says, help Dad rake the leaves by reading the numbers. So we're going to go through and do that really quick together. And then I think that will conclude our lesson for today. Let's go do the leaves together. It's trying to get you to under, to recognize these numbers. Um, let's start up here with the number nine leaf. Can everybody find the number nine leaf right beside the little boy? Everybody ready? Put your finger on the nine. You got it, Blake? Daryl, you ready? I'm gonna go pretty fast. See if you can follow along on the leaves. Nine, six, ten, eight, five, eleven, four, thirteen, twelve, seven. Did you follow me? Let's go back to the nine. Finger on the nine. Are you ready? Here we go again. Nine, six, ten, eight, five, eleven, four, thirteen, twelve, and seven. Did you follow me? Okay, good job if you did. You can go back now and remember to do your work really neat because this is a new book. I want them looking really neat. If you want, you can send me this picture of Janice when you get done. Oh, which one is it? This away on this little block where you write Janice. And let's see if you had some coloring. I think all your coloring is in the next book. So thank you for listening, children. When you get this all finished, we'll do the activity book.